Anyways, um, it is my first time uh, on Brackley St James's Lake this morning. Um, bit of an open match. A few of the um, a few of the Brandon boys will be there. Um, it's been cold. We've had a warm spell, but it's really chilling off now. So I expect it'll be relatively hard today. Um, we're probably talking twenty thirty pounds for the win. I would think. Um, hopefully, some roach will come out to play. They do seem to have been a bit on and off of late so we will have to see um two approaches really uh a tip um and long pole and maybe short pole if i've got a feature but um we'll see where we draw um yeah i won the match last time with late last year with 12 13 pound of mainly roach and perch other matches occasionally get one sort of 30 40 pounds of bream so i imagine it'll be somewhere in the middle today um but yeah i would think worm on the tip Probably maggots on the pole, maybe pinkies if it's really tricky. But yeah, we will see how it goes. But yeah, you can see um, <laughs> a few wormies to come with me. Uh, and there's the rest of the gear down there, ready to uh, ready to get lobbed in the car. I'm running a little bit late as usual, so um, yes, uh, we'll uh, hopefully draw well and um, put a few fish together. rod set up for an early chuck see if there's a bream then I have take you over um, half gram bonus fish Oliver 18 uh, N20 0.6 SF1 my bomber rig 16 I booster the 128 then 2.3 SF1s both on uh, 18 high boosters, there's plenty of perch here, so I want to try and uh, want to try and stop them blunting, really. Um, yeah, it's pretty much me, really. Got some maggots and pinkies. Want to do some worms now. A few pellets and bits and bobs, but nothing fancy. But yeah, so I'm one peg away from where I drew last time, when I was on 17 last time. And I did win the match on that occasion with a load of silver short, but we'll see what today brings. Any good here? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah? You'll catch down that edge. What, carp? No. What, carp don't count. Oh yeah. What's they catch there then? Skimmers? Perch, mate. Perch? Yeah. I haven't come here for perch. You got some worms, haven't you? Yeah. I'll get a <coughs> big 14 on and stick one on. Honestly, you'll catch perch on that edge. Yeah. Promise you. Big ones. Occasional, like these few pegs up here, it's the peg to my left that normally does them, but this peg, that peg, and Barry's peg will normally show up some perch. Just, you know, there's not, not hundreds, you can't win a match just on perch alone, yeah, but yeah. put some. I just want to catch skimmers. You'll catch some skims. Oh, there ain't that many in there then. The told me it was an out-and-out oh, out skimmer match. No, it's not. It's it's an out-and-out out build your weight match, mate. There's there's a bream bubbling right bang on your middle line. What, it's on, what, on 14? No, 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 line. feeder, bang middle way. <laughs> Honestly, just chuck a little chuck a little cage out to start with. See if it goes round. It might just go round. And if it don't, put some bait out there, come in for 13 metres, see how that goes and see how that edge goes. Yeah. Easy match. <sighs> Well...
Things I care and don't care about. It's more like it. What you had, Robbo? Hey. What you had? Sorry. Maybe ten roach and a skimmer. Not very big, mate. Eight ounce. Not very bloody good.
I'll, um, I'll sling that out and see what happens just because it was so slow on the pole I thought well it's just looking like it's going to be a bonus fish match if I can't get the roach well, I can get the roach going but there aren't many about on the pinky I can just about put the old bite together but certain, certain, I reckon so you seen much else down there what two proper bream yeah So I just picked up one to the right of the feed and now I'm going back right on the middle of it because it took some time that bite but good to see. Three quarter ounce tip is struggling a little bit now this uh, breeze has picked up a bit. Still, I'd rather a bigger bend on a on a lighter tip than too heavy a tip. Keep pinging the bait on the uh, on the two pole lines, but got to stick at the uh, stick at the feeder whilst the skimmers and the bream are showing. Just having them on, um, you know, half worms. Just. That much of a worm and a and a pinky with uh, that as the uh, that's the feed, which is mainly worm and a bit of soil, some dead reds and uh, the odd micro pellet. Then just plugging it with that, which is. Uh, mainly swim stim and sweet F1 makes it a little bit wet and I will keep trying that as well which is a a little tweak so I did pick up my first skimmer doing that so Worth keep trying it. Keep my eyes on this pole line because when it's a bit calmer like that, I can spy for bubbles.
the weight ticking over. straight away which is nice A lot of these bites are so subtle. Really, I've got a um. So sort of egg them on. Oh, really schmoly. Big knock, that was. I don't know, he might have seven or eight pound, I might have eight or ten. Um, 
But yeah, it's a lot <laughs> hard than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, might be worth it, mate. I'd, I'd also, I'd probably put out some, oh yep, I'm in again. I'd probably put out some worm in the cage on the tip, just because it seems to be pulling fish for me anyway. Right, mate, best go, because I've got to land this skim. <laughs> right, see you later, bye bye. This is the, I thought this is the wrong rig, but then. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, late as then. <coughs> I lose by two ounce now. Whew. I will give myself a stern talking to.
Yes, mate. Leicester are winning 3 0. So I've um, really got them going with the bait switch. It's gone from little bits of worm to a single dead red maggot tipped with a pinky. And it's like flick on a light switch and I wish I'd done it an hour ago as opposed to 20 minutes ago. Another thing that's worked really well for me today is actually just shifting the feeder. Um, it's one of them ones that sometimes I think you can do too much, especially when you're after bigger fish, but with these skimmers, seems like a little bit of movement's been useful on a couple of occasions anyway. Well, not a bad day. A little frustrating that things didn't like, really pick up, but such is life. Yeah, a little frustrating, but I think I should probably have, I hope I've got 12, 13 pounds, but I don't know. Tricky to tell. Mm, should have fished for the skimmers earlier. I should have maybe gone longer on the pole or set up a waggler, but I wanted to try and focus on the pole and the tip today. And I have, and I've caught well on the tip.
it's just the pole's not been the option. They've not been in not been in close enough, I don't think, today. It's long and short of it. Okay. You weren't far off when you said seven, I'll tell you that much. Seven four? Yep. Not bad tench, is it? It's a nice one. They were a good stamp here. Eh? Yeah. 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 As I thought. 12, maybe 13. <sighs> I've had to work hard on the tip for him. I couldn't get a bite on the tip last time. So, well, what's it looking like? 14 and a half to beat. Is that you? Yeah. What did Robbo have? Uh, seven four. Really? Yeah. You had a tench? No. Did. And what you got then? Yeah. This is when you pull out a 30 pound, I've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> seven bream. <laughs> Five. Yeah? Fair play. Properns. Yeah, well, I'll give it. I'll give him that extra ounce. He deserves it. <laughs> if he beats me by an ounce, he's gonna lie to me. Who? <laughs> you. Come on. Five bream. Oh, yeah. Well, one well, proper one anyway. One lump. One of the old ones. Like six ten to me. Can you just give me six? Would Robbo have? You still weren't anywhere near, mate. Six pound ten. Uh, 14, seven, seven, four. 14, seven, where was that? Next year, me. You? Yeah. God, you must have. How big is this last? <laughs> what you got, Ernie, then? You must have ten pound from here at least. Oh, that's fifteen then. Zero wish. Yeah, knocking back a pound. <laughs> oh, Chappers has got a weight over there as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, ten pound. All right, yeah, twenty. Yeah, you have proper ones. What do you have on the tip? Um, oh, mate. Uh, so what's that? Fifteen, nineteen, nine four. I don't think it's going to matter. That makes my two look rather silly. Well, I know, it's just about like put back my two fish. Worm? Uh, dead red, mainly on the pole, anyway. I'm the thing with the worm. Yeah. I just kept going. I couldn't string any ropes. I couldn't string any ropes together for love nor money. Uh, I ended up fishing the tip for most of the match because they wouldn't come in on the pole for me up there. Yeah, I would. <laughs> they didn't want to be in shallow water, did they? So what have you had then? Well, about half a pound less than you. No, it's a shame. 13, 14. <laughs> Bream. <laughs> I couldn't get any roach. No. I might have got half a pound of roach. Same. A couple of tiny little skimmers. A load of tiny little skimmers on the tip. Just had to strike at everything, didn't you? Like, like, yeah. like that was another one, skimmer one, for me. One, 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 one. They just spawned out. Yeah. I think the roach are still spawning, I think that's where they are. Yeah. Either eat the spawn or the spawn. Yeah. Late May. What did you have then, Barry? Eight, ten. Skims? Yeah, yeah. Performs, doesn't it? Um, Just performs, doesn't it? Yeah. I didn't fish expect to fish that well. I said £20 might win it today. Did you? I thought more than that. But I thought maybe there'd be a lot more roach caught. 
I wouldn't yeah. have said 20 pound if I just thought it'd have been yeah. Bream and Skimmers. Yeah. Did debate whether I should have had a waggler set up, really. Yeah. yeah. Think it made a difference for Skimmers? Possibly. Just between that pole range and tip range. Yeah. Could just kept him separate swims. I started short. Yeah. I was 15, 18 metres to start with. Yeah. I didn't go far. I only went 22, 24. Yeah. Ended up on stupid tails to catch him. Ended up on like a metre tail. I, had, I was just saying to Ernie, same thing, dry ground back. I was getting a dendra, yeah. and that'd be best spell. Yeah. Break it in four bits, put one bit on the hook, the other three in, sort of dry ground back. Yeah. Well, hit the water, yeah. and as it was going down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going, <laughs> tightening up, and it was going round. Yeah. On occasion, you'd get a savage liner, just boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. I struck a couple of them. Yeah, same. <laughs> the first one, I went, ooh, I went, ah, okay, right, yeah. He's having to strike at that. Oh yeah. Any any movement on the tip I was lifting into towards the end. It was it was another one of them. I had half ounce. Maybe quarters of the way forward, yeah. Lighter again. First section, Ernie Sutler, uh, 19 pound four. Ernie. Second section, James Lewis with 14 pound seven. Hanging out. Out. Third section, eight pound ten is Barry. Oh, he was here a minute ago. He's gone. <laughs> eight pound ten. Barry can donate. And last section, uh, Paul Chapman with twenty-one one. Right, that's that. Thanks all for coming. Now then, now we've got to do the uh, impossible now. <laughs> First overall, Paul Chapman twenty-one one. And Paul. Second. Ernie Sutler with £19.4. Oh, These Milton Keynes bandits are here, aren't they? Yeah. I knew it as soon as I see them. Always the robbers around. Yeah, that's it. And third, James. <laughs> what did I say? James Lewis, 14.7. Thank you. Well Tough. Okay. And that's it. And then a few coffers for the club. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Yeah. Cheers, John. Well done. Run. John. When's, the next, when's the next one? Next one is in July. Hard oh, work.